So Mr. Beast and Logan Paul and KSI collaborated, made a new product called Lunch Lees that's supposed to be a healthier alternative to Lunchables. The people are saying that they're claiming that Lunch Lees are healthy, but they never claimed it to be healthy. They said it's healthier than Lunchables. Do I need to make it clear? For example, let's say a Lunchable has 7 grams of sugar and Lunch Lees has 4 grams of sugar. Okay, 4 is smaller than 7. But anyways, it's healthier. It's not healthy. There's a difference. But anyways, there's a bunch of controversy. The main reason is because Dan TDM. So he said, what happened to YouTubers that they're using audiences to sell products and gain more profit, which is not a problem. It's a business. He's saying that people shouldn't view YouTube as a business, more like a hobby. That's just you. For example, me, I want to make a job out of this and I'm having fun creating videos. I'm getting two for the price of one. Two birds, one cup. Then Logan Paul, KSI and Mr. Beast at their responses. Logan Paul said that YouTubers wanted to branch out and create businesses from their audiences and from what they're doing or something along the lines like that. And there's nothing wrong with creating a product for your audience that your audience can buy. Like every other business, people pay, people get. So what's the problem? Case I called out a few people who also sold sweets and they weren't called out by losers on the internet. It's a problem for the sake of being a problem. People complaining for the sake of complaining. Just because Dan TDM said that it's bad, everyone else went like, oh no, it's bad, it's bad, like, I, I, I don't get it. And then Jacksepticeye came out of nowhere and said, and it really pulled out the, you messed with one of us, uh, you messed with all of us. But honestly, again, there's nothing wrong with selling something as a product to the audience, especially if it's an healthier alternatives. I don't know the stats on how many grams of whatever there is in Lunchables and Lunchlies because I don't care. Post recording source here. So I did a quick search with Gemini and this is what he had to say. I don't care. That's just the tip of the penis because people going around spreading misinformation like they're claiming it as healthy and they are willingly just just selling energy drinks to kids it's a normal prime what you mean an energy drink <laughs> the the idiocy on the internet is annoying i can't form a coherent sentence about how stupid people has gotten due to internet the critical thinking is just non-existent the moment dan tdm said hey this is a problem everyone else was like oh it's a problem why is it a problem i don't know i don't believe anything that follows my king dan tdm's narrative so i'm gonna follow the same narrative as him and not do any research and just comment and copy and paste shit from comments. Don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with Dan TDM. I don't know who he is, I only know him based off this situation. I just don't get the controversy. A box filled with a chocolate that's apparently healthier than a normal chocolate with a sports drink inside that does not have caffeine in because it's not an energy drink and I don't know all the technical stuff it's just a drink and I don't mind it would I go out of my way to drink it no but do I go out of my way to get any drink no it's a problem for the sake of being a problem and there's just no reason for people to go on about it with sweets because if you care about your kids safety or diet that won't fucking kill them
it's not in my country so i can't do a taste test or else i would have done that it's just so unnecessary so basically yeah dan tdm tweeted out on the 16th of september so two days ago now what happened to youtubers man i can't not say anything anymore they're selling stuff for the sake of making money simple how does that benefit their fans this is selling crap to kids who don't know any better than just trusting people who they sell it to do better i'm not a businessman of some sort but I don't see anything wrong with selling a product to your audience. That's business 101. Do I agree with the ways Mr. Beast, KSI, Logan Paul are responding to this? No. But do I care? No. The only thing I care about is people spreading misinformation and overreacting like Dan TDM, my guy. I'm about to unload over your entire face and lasers. There's nothing wrong with being famous and selling a product. What does this benefit the fans? What do people benefit from buying Oreos? What do people benefit by buying Doritos? It's the same question for everything. Launch this new brand called Lunchly. What it has, Prime Feastables and Lunchables. The problem with this, they're saying, oh, this is a healthy snack. It isn't if you're including Prime and Feastables. This is the product that Dan TDM doesn't like. And the reason I think he doesn't like it is because he's a concerned father about, you know, kids' well-being and kids' health. There's nothing wrong with kids eating sweets. If you don't want your kids to eat sweets, then Talk to your kids about it. Tell them it's unhealthy. That's all there is to it. Prime is healthier than Coca-Cola and energy drinks. We got 14 year olds drinking energy drinks like Monster or Red Bull and eating two party bags of Doritos. We don't see people complaining about that, but guys, it's it's YouTubers. Oh, oh my God, it's you, the YouTubers are selling sweets, no. I'm not a parent or anything but i bet i know more than normal parents if you care about your kids eating sweets talk to them about it eating a feastable a prime or crackers or pizza the kid is not gonna get hurt you walk those calories off in a day you promoting you know fatty foods to kids so this says it's misleading uh saying lunchables faces bands allegedly containing lead and it created a better version it implies that lunchy doesn't contain lead we don't know that yet so apparently lunchy does have lead inside of it and it's not better for kids at all so thanks logan paul for lying there's also another thing i want to add he turned off his replies Am I saying I believe what Logan Paul says? No, I don't believe half the shit celebrities say online. People are still complaining about sweets. If you don't like sweets or don't want kids to have sweets, don't eat it, don't feed it to them. Oh my word, that's what had that's the power of five gum no hate to these creators i just find this overreaction a bit crazy it's a bit cuckoo. so ksi said it looks like crap to me you got to realize ksi that these are toys or collectibles that don't make kids fat ksi also has toys from the exact same companies a funko pop and tube heroes i don't agree with ksi on this one the guy mentioned that toys don't make people fat obviously it does not make people fat but you know what else does make people fat not overeating on sweets it's called self-control or just a light snack the tube heroes i can't see myself because i never had a tube hero but for those who did they probably had hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of memories and not just that u2s as well he's criticizing a u2s and i will get back to that okay and now i said funko pop u2s my bad i apologize you're gonna cancel me yeah if we go to ksi's next response he acts like a absolute baby what is he 30 so he was saying buh, buh, buh. Uh, he was talking about food jj he was sponsored then promoted to make a whole video about munchpack a monthly sub box for food and candy to his minecraft audience full of kids now what well first of all those kids are adults she's talking to one now i was 10 when i first watched him i am now 20 
But the thing is with this, this is a one-off sponsorship. This is where the hypocrisy comes in. He promoted sweets, but but he promoted sweets once, and I'm I'm 20. I'm and I watch his videos, and um, so, so he's talking to adults. You can't be talking for the entire audience. You know when people grow up, a lot of people they watch YouTubers as a kid. After some time, a lot of them are gonna stop. If you still watch the YouTuber after years and you're an adult now, good for you. Hope you're happy. But you should know that more kids are gonna go to the channel if Dan TDM aims to have kids as an audience. He did promote sweets, but it's Dan TDM, so it doesn't matter because he's Dan TDM. It was a once off promotion. So it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Sponsored video. Plus, he isn't claiming uh, candy is healthy in the video. You guys own the company and actively claim it's healthy lunch alternative. That a healthier alternative. Did KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast say that lunch lees are healthy, or did they say it's healthier than lunchables? They launched Lunchlies as a healthier alternative to traditional Lunchables, emphasizing that their product contains fewer calories. It's an healthier option, not said as being healthy. The problems are is that he's claiming there's a healthy child alternative, but it isn't. It isn't at all. And what are you trying to say? You're not going to eat this, are you? You're a bodybuilder, KSI. You're a boxer. You're not going to eat something like this because you know it's not going to do your health any good. Anyway, on to the next one. So Jacksepticeye said you mess with... A hell, I would eat KSI. Hell, I would eat guess eyes lunch leaves because I gotta bulk up. I've been 76 kilograms for the past year or year and a half. Since I'm over, I'll make a video. It'll get like 50 views, but hey, uh, I'll give it a 5 star rating or 4.5. So with Dan TDM, you mess with YouTube. And I agree. I completely agree with what this is going on. They might be waiting to the end of the video to eagerly. I'm sorry, but really... You, you mess with Dan TDM. You mess with YouTube. I don't know who Dan TDM is. No hate to Jacksepticeye. Why can Dan TDM talk smack, promote sweets, when KSI and Logan Paul make something healthier, a healthier alternative, and never said it is healthy, by the term, it's healthier than Lunchables. The, honestly, that's just so cringe. Even though he did it, ironically, it was still kind of cringe. Here, Mr. Beast response. So, drama alert says YouTubers are not happy with Mr. Beast KSI and Logan Paul new product. And that Mr. Beast responds is people in my comment section have been saying this is probably not Mr. Beast, it's probably his team doing it for him. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, but all three of them are cowards. Logan Paul turned his comments off, KSI is acting like an absolute twerp, aka a kid, and Mr. Beast, well, we don't know who's behind this. So, Lunchable sells hundreds of millions of Units, the countless I don't agree with the way they are responding to Dan TDM and the haters. Dan TDM is acting like a kid and his fans are acting like kids. It's a sweetie that won't make you fat upon ingesting it. You're gonna get it in, gonna gain some calories, walk it off in a day, shit all the extra away. I just ripped out Dr. Seuss out of my ass. Give a better for you alternative. Your goal was that for Feastables as well. But Feastables is proven to be slightly healthier than Hershey's, but not to the point where it'll be substantial, basically. It won't happen at all. Even if it has 0.1 less grams of sugar than Hershey's, it's considered healthier. Not by a lot. Obviously, you can say it's not, you can say it's the same, it's basically the same, but it's healthier. More electrolytes, you don't need electrolytes, do you? I, I, I honestly don't think you need electrolytes. So where's this trend of electrolytes come from? We use real cheese, they use a cheese product. They can't call it. If someone is going to eat a pre-made meal like this, with... the thing is, Mr. Beast, you're not just offering the Lunchables, are you? By the looks of the promotion, you're offering offering feastables with it you're offering prime problem is this that you're promoting this to kids again 
both products are healthier alternatives to your average chocolate bar your average prime or i don't know all the content in every single chocolate or drink up in my noodle up here but allegedly it's healthier it's not gonna kill them it's not gonna make anyone fat unless you eat like 100 lunchlies a day you're only improving from the product more and more you're not improving the product you don't want to improve the product you just want money in your pockets that's what dan's saying dan to the image that's how businesses work you sell and get money if the people don't want what you're selling they're not gonna buy it and you're not gonna get money this can be said for anything sold by youtubers merch youtubes funko pop tube heroes what some of them sell freaking dodos or butt blood why would you sell a hoodie for 60 dollars for your audience who watches your videos why would you do that because you want them to get warm you want to promote you yeah you know what you really want the money that's how it works but merch doesn't make them fat like feastables uh, a chocolate and a drink um well both are being sold for money in the end every single big youtuber had merch or sold something for money because why else would they do it because we love our fans that could be the case but still why not give it for free? You're manipulating your audience into buying shitty merch that will have the stickers pulled off after the first wash. There was a TikTok I commented on that Dan TDM is bugging over sweet treats. It's not that deep. And someone said that Prime gave someone lung cancer. I was laughing my bricks off with that one. She said, it's YouTubers selling sweets or unhealthy things labeling it as healthy and they're literally selling energy drinks to kids it's a normal prime also prime gave someone lung cancer it's probably because the person smoked i don't know i don't know where the person got with that there's no evidence that proves that prime made someone get lung cancer it's just an overreaction it happened when Prime came out. It happened when Feastables came out. It's just the people are just hating on them. You trying to abuse children's brains. Because for those who don't know, children, you know, fall for everything. The other day, my brother got a virus because he believes everything. He thought he was going to get a free cape off this website called Nine Minecraft. Kids are so manipulative. There's way more things to worry about than kids eating sweets. That's a healthier alternative. Like kids being manipulated to transition to another gender. But no, we're going to care about kids not to eat healthier alternative sweets. There's a lot more happening in the world than this, but they're making a huge problem out of this. I think I've said everything that I need to say to make my point that this is overreaction for the sake of having an overreaction. I just had to talk about it. It's been bothering me quite a bit. I've been yapping for 45 minutes, so I think that's way more than enough. To sum it up, it's a healthier alternative to Lunchables and it's selling normal Prime. Prime doesn't cause lung cancer. Smoking does. Kids won't get fat from it unless they eat an overabundance of it. The hate goes to the glazers who can't form their own opinion and who doesn't do research. I've done enough, I think. Obviously, I'm not here to defend KSI, Logan Paul or Mr. Beast for what, what they've done and their responses. I just wanted to talk about it to prove critical thinking needs to be learned again. It's out of our systems. Especially when you look at comments on Instagram and TikTok.